Everyone, it's Nukin from the Republic again, and I am bringing you a ship video today, highlighting the Gauntlet Starfighter. Before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to Zero Toxin. Thanks again, man, for reaching out and supplying this footage. Couldn't make this video without you, so thanks again. Um, so now onto the video. We have a Empire Fleet with the Tarkin Fleet Commander lead with the Executrix. We have four Empire ships, so I want to point out that on top of the Gauntlet Starfighter, we also have a five-star TIE Reaper, so that's pretty cool. Some of the other ships we have here are Slave 1, Biggs, is, um, X-Wing there, Rex, and Semitar. Um, so that's pretty cool. What we're going to do today in this video, we're going to show two battles with this ship against Akbar's Home 1. And I'll be discussing a little bit of more about the Gauntlet Starfighter and giving you a little bit of battle commentary as well. So um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, so I can continue making some excellent content for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks. All right, so let's start seeing some gameplay footage of this ship and talk a little bit about the Gauntlet Starfighter. So the Gauntlet Starfighter is a Empire support ship its basic attack is uh, Gauntlet Assault. It deals physical damage, and if there's a target locked enemy, you can grant another random ally 20% turn meter. More turn meter is always welcome. The more turn meter you have, the more turns that you can take. Its first special is re in re Reinvigorate. Okay, there we got it out there. It's a cleanse, so you dispel all debuffs on all allies, and you grant them protection up and it's doubled for Empire allies. So if you have four Empire ships, they're gonna be getting 40% protection up, which is awesome. And that's one of the few ways that you can give the Imperial TIE Fighter actual, actual protection because he doesn't have any protection um, starting off. His second special is Proton Missile Launcher, and that is deal physical damage to a target enemy and inflict buff immunity for two turns. So that's pretty interesting. There are a few tank ships in the game and preventing them from taunting would make them pretty much useless because they don't do any damage and don't have a lot of utility so buff immunity is an interesting debuff for ships it's unique is called superior maneuverability um, gauntlet starfighter has 20 plus flat speed to start off with so when you get to the 151 speed you can add 20 on top of that so he's already at 171 and then you can add another five flat speed for each other Empire ally. So it doesn't include itself, but I think it does include Executrix because it is an Empire ship. And then so it's gonna be a pretty quick ship. And then on top of that, it grants all allies 20% defense and doubled for Empire allies. So your Empire ships are gonna have 40% defense. So they're gonna be tanking a lot and they're gonna be able to excel in um, taking down ships without being shot down before they're they're able to do so. So if you have a TIE Advance and you think it's pretty squishy, once you put this guy in your lineup, suddenly TIE Advance is going to be able to make it to the end of the battle. So that's pretty sweet. So now we're going to go into another battle here and start giving you some battle commentary. All right, so now that we went over Gauntlet Starfighter's abilities, let's do some battle commentary. So we're going to take out Biggs and put in Ty Reaper into the starting lineup or starting rotation so he can see some light of day. And I think at least on offense, you can take out your taunting ships and get away with it with Gauntlet Starfighter because of that unique that gives percent defense. So let's see how it does here. We're facing the same exact Home 1 Akbar target lock fleet. Now you can run a target lock fleet with any fleet commander, so that's pretty cool. Um, we have Imperial TIE Fighter there, TIE Advance, Biggs, Slave 1, and the First Order TIE. So we start off with, you know, laying some debuffs. Home 1 is going to end up cleansing someone, but you, the more debuffs you have, the more damage you're going to do under a target lead. You start off by spreading out target lock with the tie advance as always. And you want to make sure that you're probably going to want to take out Biggs and or make sure he has buff immunity so he doesn't taunt because he can quickly regain a lot of protection and get in the way of you wanting to take out the other ships. So 
the Gauntlet Starfighter can give protection up, like we discussed before. So now Imperial TIE Fighter has protection, and that's the only way he'll ever have protection, is if you give him protection up. Make sure that you're hitting Imperial TIE Fighter with your TIE Advance, because TIE Advance never has his attack get evaded, and you all and you're you know you're going to be spreading out target lock anyway. The goal here is to use Slave One to basically blast away at their ships with a huge AOE attack, which we're about to do, I think, here. Now, um, Stealth Allies will gain more damage, so here we go. I like to use Imperial Tie Fighter as the um, target for Scimitar, and boom, we shot out most of those ships, and the other ships are almost dead. So you can do this with Fives as well, but I prefer Boba. And let's finish him off with the Gauntlet Starfighter. And there we go. That is the Gauntlet Starfighter in action. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.